a very important update today. I really recommend you to watch the whole video until the end. Read the written update, rewatch this video, let the information sink in. Because at the end of this video, you might need to make a decision. Future Calder here. While editing the video, I noticed that the whole video is quite serious, especially at the start. It's a little bit intimidating. I just wanted to say here that don't worry. The whole production is going as planned. There's no delay here, but we just have a proposal for you that you can go for or not and just see for the rest of the video. Okay, let's go back. Now, the whole goal of this video is to properly inform you and be transparent about a challenge that we are facing right now and that has impact on future productions. Let's first start off with a backstory. What is the problem here? In the last update, I shared that we were facing an IC shortage issue. We were not able to procure a certain IC part and that would have impact on our future productions. Now, the IC that we're missing is the MCU. It stands for microcontroller unit and is basically the brains of the keyboard. This is where the firmware runs, where we do all our routing magic of processing the signals and getting all the analog goodness and features that we have on the keyboard happening. Um, and is obviously the, one of the most critical parts of the keyboard. Now, we had buffer stock of the MCU. We were able to purchase the MCU over the last half year, occasionally, sometimes for third party sellers, but it was generally available when we needed. And we thought that would be the same during this year. However, going from February to March, suddenly depleted. There was a, I don't know, a huge surge of demand for this particular MCU for whatever reason, and stock was depleted everywhere. We went to third party resellers and they quoted us $108 per piece. Now, I can't tell you how insane expensive that is. That's more expensive than even making the keyboard itself. That's insane and unacceptable, obviously. What does that mean for our productions is that we cannot produce any keyboards until we can get that MCU. And they told us the lead time for this MCU is February, 2023. Now that is super far away. And that is only if we place an order now. And so if we place an order at a later date, you can just add like three quarters of a year when and then that, that would be the delivery date. Now it happens to be that we already started on the development of a new MCU, but we didn't expect this development to be this important and we didn't expect it to be done until a future keyboard model. Now, obviously we had to make the decision to expedite this development because that new MCU has better availability on the market. We're able to purchase it now, has shorter lead times, and would give us the opportunity to manufacture keyboards again. This also means that once we complete this development, we'll not go back to the current MCU. We'll keep producing keyboards with the new MCU. Now the question is, what is the impact on you? The short answer is there's no impact on the production, there's no impact on the delivery, and there's no impact on your 60HE order as a whole. However, we do have a proposal for you. We want to give you the option to choose between the current MCU, which is your current order right now, or the new MCU. Now, why would you choose for the new MCU? In short, the new MCU is more powerful. However, the current MCU still meets our expectations and requirements for the time being. Even so, that we can promise you that up until January 2024, both the performance and the futures of the current MCU and the new MCU will be equal. There is, however, one notable difference with the new MCU, and that is how many advanced key configurations you can store on the keyboard. These are for features such as DKS, MOTAB, and potentially other advanced features that we might create. We expect there to be about twice the amount of slots compared to the current MCU. Now, if this sounds compelling to you and you want to switch to the new MCU, you also need to know there are going to be some consequences. The new MCU runs on an ARM-based architecture, which is not compatible with our current firmware yet. This means that we need more time for development and we need to redo all the validation tests for mass production. We think this will take about four to five months 
and our goal right now is to do a mass production in July 2022 and do deliveries in September 2022. But this is not a guarantee. We don't know if we're going to stumble against unexpected developments or issues during the development that we can't solve within a reasonable time. So please keep in mind that that date might even delay. So how can you make the change? If you already have a pre-order, you can hop over to the Wooting Hub right now and opt in for the new MCU model. If you don't have a pre-order yet, there's now the option on the store to choose between the current MCU and the new MCU. Now, if any of this information was unclear for you, please rewatch the video or read the written update. There's a lot of references and links there. You can also head over to our Discord and talk with other community members about this update. Uh, particularly look for the 60HE channel and we'll also have a live stream happening soon after this update which for which you can find the time date and link to the live stream in the description below now this was a lot of information to process so let me just recap this one more time if you have a Wooting 60HE pre-order right now you do not need to take any action we're still going to deliver the Wooting 60HE as promised. Production is continuing, shipments are, is continuing, and you'll still receive everything with all the performance and futures that we set out to deliver. However, if you are interested in the new MCU model, then hop over to the Wooting Hub right now and opt in for the new MCU model. But be aware, there's a later delivery date on this model, which is September 2022. Now, I hope that all this information was clear and that you've got the full picture of what's going on here. Otherwise, please rewatch this video. And if you have any questions, you're always welcome to reach out to us. And otherwise, until the next update.